Hello everyone. So this is the procedure for the uh, determination of content of paracetamol uh, by absorptivity method. So this procedure is according to the IP. Now if you see here, the first sentence is weigh and powder 20 tablets. Weigh accurately a quantity of the tablet powder containing about 0 0.1, 0 0.15 grams that is 150 milligrams of paracetamol okay so that means we have to weigh such an amount of tablet powder which will have 150 milligrams of paracetamol into it it's a tablet powder right so it is along with some excipients diluents and the paracetamol so we have to weigh such a quantity where 150 milligrams of paracetamol is there now weight of 20 tablets will be provided to you so here let me take weight of 20 tablets is equal to 15.21 grams so this will give me average weight of 20 tablets so average weight of 20 tablets will be 15.21 divided by 20 and this is coming out to be 0 0.761 grams and according to label claim 761 milligrams what is the 761 this has come from here so 761 milligrams of tablet powder contain 650 milligrams of paracetamol right and according to procedure how much do i require i require 150 milligrams of paracetamol is present in how much amount of tablet powder so this x is coming out to be here 0 0.180 grams so this is nothing but 180 milligrams of tablet powder is to be weighed so this much amount of tablet powder will have 150 milligrams of paracetamol now what do i have to do further the procedure says this much amount of tablet powder okay that is 180 milligrams of tablet powder to that 50 ml of NaOH is to be added then dilute with 100 ml water shake for 15 minutes and add sufficient water to produce 250 ml that means this we are going to add ultimately in 250 ml of distilled water right so this 50 ml NaOH and some amount of water which we are adding here we are shaking it for 15 minutes this is for complete extraction of this paracetamol from the tablet powder and ultimately we are making up the volume to 250 ml so this uh, procedure no this can be modified also if you do not have 250 ml volumetric flask available you can make it to 200 ml but whatever are the changes you are doing here uh, those changes you have to include or consider during the calculation now from this if you see here after this we have to filter the solution so after making up the volume this solution will be filtered then you are withdrawing 10 ml from this and dilute it to 100 ml with water so this is to 100 ml with water again to 10 ml of the resulting solution add 10 ml of NaOH and dilute to 100 ml with water so again from this we are adding 10 ml we are withdrawing 10 ml and making up the volume to 100 ml okay this addition of 10 ml has been considered here so ultimate volume which we are making up that is written over here right and then we have to measure the absorbance of this solution let me write this as solution b see during your uh, practicals no you may not be following the same procedure maybe your uh, uh, instructors can uh, make some modifications in the procedure like uh, this 180 mg tablet powder maybe they will ask you to uh, make up the volume to 100 ml then 1 to 10 and then 1 to 10 so this is basically to save the amount of solvent but the dilution if you see that will be uh, in the respective proportion only okay so let me go according to uh, this procedure here which is given in ip so this 100 ml solution which we have prepared which we have named as solution b so this solution b we will be taking for measuring the absorbance at 257 nanometers now why 257 nanometers because that is the lambda max of paracetamol and what is this 715 715 is the absorptivity that means specific absorbance which is provided to us here and since this specific absorbance is been provided to us here 
we do not require the standard paracetamol if you have seen the earlier method of linear regression analysis or single point standardization double point standardization all those methods they require availability of pure drug okay but, but if pure drug is not available at least we should have its specific absorbance with us so that this absorptivity value we will directly substitute here okay this a 1% 1 centimeter is nothing but the absorptivity this is the absorbance of this solution which we will get from the instrument b is 1 okay so what is remaining here that is the c which we have to find out so let us uh, say we have uh, got the absorbance here and that absorbance is 0.567 this is the absorbance value of the solution b now what is my aim i will substitute this absorbance value here i will substitute this absorptivity value this 715 here b is 1 and then i will find out here the concentration so is it the final concentration here no this is the concentration of this solution b this is the concentration of solution b and what is my aim my aim is to find out the amount of paracetamol present in the given tablet a given tablet may as per label claim it is 50 milligrams so 650 milligrams are i ki nahi wo hume check karna hai right so that means from here i have to move back so i call this as back calculation and for back calculation i require dilution factor what is the dilution factor here you can see 100 by 10 into 100 by 10 this we will take as the dilution factor dilution factor will be 100 by 10 into 100 by 10 so this will give me the concentration of this solution let me call this as solution a okay so now i will tell you the back calculation how it is to be done as i have told you we are substituting it in a is equal to abc where this a is nothing but a 1 percent 1 centimeter we call this as specific absorbance okay we call this as specific absorbance so after substituting the absorbance specific absorbance b i can find out c and this c is coming out to be 7.93 into 10 raised to minus 4 what will be the unit of this particular concentration because this is the concentration that means i have to write here unit and this unit carries lot of marks in your calculation you know because if this unit goes wrong your further calculation will go wrong so always remember whenever specific absorbance that means this a one percent one centimeter is given to you always the unit of concentration will be grams per 100 ml okay whenever specific absorbance is given to you if it is molar absorptivity given definitely the unit of concentration will be different that i have already explained you in the other videos of the uh, uv spectroscopy okay so this concentration is the concentration of solution b now concentration of solution a is equal to dilution factor multiplied by concentration of solution b okay so what is the dilution factor here we have calculated that is 100 right so 100 multiplied by 7.93 into 10 raised to minus 4 and here this is coming out to be 7.93 into 10 raised to minus 2 right and what is the unit here again unit will remain the same no i have not done any changes in the unit i have just multiplied this concentration with the dilution factor right so this is the concentration of solution a so if you see the uh, dilution flow which i have written there there the total volume of solution a was 250 ml so this means what this means 100 ml of solution a contains 7.93 into 10 raised to minus 2 grams of paracetamol right there 100 ml of solution a contains 7.93 into 10 raised to minus 2 grams of paracetamol right so total 250 ml solution a contains how much let us say y grams of paracetamol so this is just the cross multiplication rest of the calculation i will do here okay let me change the color okay here so this y after the cross multiplication is coming out to be 
okay so it is 198.25 milligrams i have just converted it okay the actual answer in grams was 0.19825 grams okay so this much milligrams of paracetamol now this is present in 250 ml right but 250 ml mein ye kahan se aaya because i had added 180 milligrams of tablet powder into it barabar so that means 180 milligrams of tablet powder contains 198 milligrams of paracetamol so this absorbance has come very high and therefore this amount of paracetamol has come very high so this or uh, there could be some errors uh, for the student who has actually performed it jo errors hai na ye errors kisi bhi wajah se ho sakta hai i mean the errors can start from the weighing itself balance itself could be faulty first second the uncalibrated glassware uncalibrated balance then weighing error that is the human error comes there वेइंग एरर के बाद डाइल्यूशन एयर वेदर यू आर चेकिंग लोअर मिनिस्कस अपर मिनिस्कस एवरीथिंग ओके सो आई एम जस्ट शोइंग द कैलकुलेशन एब्जॉर्बेंस तो आपको आपका ही लेना है ओके सो दिस वॉज अबाउट दी वन एटी मिलीग्राम्स ऑफ टैबलेट पाउडर तो एवरेज वेट में कितना होगा जो मेरा एम क्या है आज का टू फाइंड अमाउंट ऑफ पैरासीटामोल प्रेजेंट इन द इन वन टैबलेट राइट सो वॉट वॉज द एवरेज वेट एवरेज वेट वॉज सेवन सिक्सटी वन मिलीग्राम्स ऑफ टैबलेट पाउडर contains z milligrams of paracetamol theek hai to ye after cross multiplication ye z kitna aa raha hai z aa raha hai 837 milligrams of paracetamol aur ek tablet mein kitna hona chahiye as per the label claim ek tablet mein hona chahiye 650 milligrams of paracetamol to 650 milligrams is my 100% to ye jo 837 aaya jo ki bahut zyada hai wo thoda wrong hai wo kitna percent ठीक है सो लेट मी से दिस इज जेड वन परसेंट सो दिस इज कमिंग आउट टू बी वन ट्वेंटी नाइन परसेंट सो एज पर लेबल क्लेम दिस इज वन ट्वेंटी नाइन परसेंट वेट बाय वेट ऑफ पैरासीटामोल एंड दिस इज हाउ यू हैव टू रिपोर्ट द रिजल्ट टू स्टेटमेंट्स ऑफ रिजल्ट आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बिकॉज स्पेशल मार्क्स आर अलॉटेड फॉर रिजल्ट रिपोर्टिंग फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इफ यू सी योर अंडर द टाइटल रिजल्ट इट इज द कंटेंट ऑफ पैरासीटामोल प्रेजेंट पर टैबलेट तो वो आपको एम में लिखना है सेकेंड सेंटेंस है परसेंट कंटेंट ऑफ द पैरासीटामोल इन द गिवन टैबलेट और उसके ऊपर जो आप दिख रहे हो आईपी लिमिट वो आईपी लिमिट के हिसाब से आप कंक्लूड करोगे द रिजल्ट अबाउट योर डोसेज फॉर्म